this bottom doesn't want to come out. It's not really buttery. But it's crazy, you can taste the chai. Really spongy here, as you can see. Oh, wow. Today, we are at Wildflower Gluten-Free Bakery. They have two locations in the greater Seattle area. The one I visited is located in a quite small plaza. They have fresh bread, biscuits, muffins, and cookies. And they're all gluten-free. This is their freezer section. They even have pizza dough. Is that wild? Look what I got. Oh, the goodies. Try them all. Cinnamon roll. I think they use rice flour and tapioca flour and potato starch. Wow. The only thing I have about this is you can only buy this in a pack of four, which is $20. Let's eat it. Ooh, it's so soft. This bottom doesn't want to come out. The edges are not dry at all. It's very soft, you see? And with rice flour dusting, Wow. So good. So soft. Frosting is a little bit on the sweet side. I wish it's not that sweet. But the dough is perfect. Very cinnamon-y. It's not really buttery. The dough is just so soft and so almost wet. For me, who doesn't like cinnamon roll, I can eat this whole one. Chai squash muffin. Made of burnt nut squash and chai tea concentrate. Ooh, soft. Looks like a lot of spice going on. Let's taste it. It's amazing you can taste the chai tea. Seriously, I'm not joking. Butternut squash definitely makes the dough so moist. But it's crazy, you can taste the chai. The dough is chewy. The rice flour and tapioca flour makes the dough really spongy here, as you can see, which I'm not sure it works well in a muffin format. Although they put it off with a blueberry muffin the other day, which I quite enjoy. Wow. Parmesan herb buttermilk biscuit. Again from Wildflower, which means it's gluten free. <sighs> Look at all the cheddar pieces. The beautiful, beautiful muffin. No, beautiful, beautiful biscuit. Rosemary, dried basil, or the sage. Oh my god, it smells divine. Mm. Soft in the middle, a little bit crunchy on the top. Perfect combination. A lot of herbs. You also want some melted cheese or sauce or butter to give it a, a little bit wetness. This is just very dense with all the potato starch and rice flour. I think an egg sandwich with the running yolk would be perfect on this biscuit. That's it for today's gluten-free pastry adventure. What's your favorite? Comment below and let me know. I will see you guys next time in the pastry world.